Hi, my name is Pam Borakuller, and I'm a primary care doctor in the Division of General Internal Medicine and Geriatrics. When I first arrived, I thought I was going to be doing more medical student education um, and was working with a mentor who was based at the medical school. It turns out that my career took me more in the direction of residency education and administration. Um, during that time, I also developed more of a clinical interest um, in a specific field, and so I ended up meeting another mentor who worked in residency education and also shared some academic interests with me. So I unofficially kind of adopted her as another mentor and worked with her on a few different projects over the next few years. In the last year, I ended up taking on a role back at the medical school, and now I find myself turning back again to my original mentor and working more closely with her on new projects um, and getting advice from her about how to navigate things at the medical school. For me, it was easy to have more than one mentor. Emory is a big place with multiple hospitals and people who have different interests, and so it's easy to have more than one person who's giving you guidance and needing you um, to give you advice. I also find it's really helpful sometimes to have someone who's more senior than you who's working on a project with you to give you advice, but sometimes it's also helpful to have someone who's not involved in the project you're working on, who's objective, and outside of that project to give you some advice. I really liked having more than one mentor and I think it served me well. On a personal level, it's been really helpful to talk with my mentor and realize that even senior faculty members are grappling with the same feelings of guilt and grief and anxiety and struggles at home with work-life balance, the same things that I've been going through over the past few weeks. Um, on a career level, I've actually collaborated with my mentor on a project at the medical school to help kind of serve the need for medical students who aren't able to do clinical rotations right now. Um, I think it's really important to still work with a mentor, either on a personal level or on a career level. There's a lot of opportunities to innovate right now and senior mentors know a lot more about helping with that innovation.